Hi everyone, this is Winnie or Miss Tang. Did you know that there are four different types of sentences? Every day we communicate in sentences, when we're speaking, when we're writing, and when we're reading. Understanding the different types of sentences will help us improve our writing. It will look and we will sound a lot more well-structured and we will be able to clearly and effectively communicate our thoughts and ideas to our target audience. The first type of sentence is the declarative sentence. This is where we make a statement and this is also when we use a full stop. We also have the exclamatory sentence where we express a strong feeling and we use an exclamation mark. We have the imperative sentence where we give a command or a request. This is also when we use a full stop. And the last type of sentence is the interrogatory sentence. This is where we ask a question and we use a question mark. The most commonly used sentence is the declarative sentence. That's why today we are learning to identify and write declarative sentences. This is because we are communicating information directly and we are providing facts or we're stating a viewpoint. Our success criteria today includes Good is if you can recognise declarative sentences in a text. Great is if you can write a simple declarative sentence with the subject, verb and object. If you can make a statement or declaration. Declaration. If you can include a full stop. And amazing is if you can write a compound declarative sentence. If you can include two or more clauses and if you can include a coordinating conjunction. Here's what a good one looks like. This is an example from a narrative that I have written called Amber and the Brow Beating Bully and this is actually a prequel to the book that my friend and I are writing. Amber was a cheerleader. So Amber is the subject, was is the verb and then the object is a cheerleader. She was 11 years old. She is the subject, was the verb, and 11 years old is the object. They are giving facts and information here. Mrs. Robinson was the cheerleading coach. So same thing, you've got the subject, verb, and the object in this sentence. There are two types of declarative sentences. There is a simple declarative sentence where we have the subject, verb and object. And there is a compound declarative sentence where we join two related phrases with a comma and a conjunction. So a conjunction such as and, yet or but. An example of a compound declarative sentence. Amber ran to her final position of the cheerleading dance, but it was too late. So you can see I've used a coordinating conjunction, but, and it is also in between the two clauses, and there is a comma before the coordinating conjunction, but. A declarative sentence makes a statement, it provides a fact, it offers an explanation or conveys information, it includes a full stop, and includes a subject, verb, and object. Okay, now it's your turn. Can you find any declarative sentences in the book that you are reading? And can you write your own declarative sentence? To learn how to help your reader understand what you are writing, here is my grammar and punctuation playlist right here. See you in my next video. Bye!